Hey everyone! Lately, I was so busy with my bag paintings commission. I really miss my watercolor painting. And you know, I have three online school that I joined. One is from Skillshare and two is from Instagram uh, artists that I follow. And also, I still have four bags that in line for me to be finished so I'm very busy aside from my full-time job <laughs> but anyway this white clutch bag I can say is so much fun to do the materials are very soft and very fine texture that you can tell that this is a good quality leather bag I will not disclose the brand of, uh, of this bag for privacy reason of my client. She requested me um, these designs to be matched to her Gucci shoes. Um, I really love these shoes. So the first thing that I do here is um, I sketch the designs and then I choose the colors that I can use to be matched to her Gucci shoes. I am so thankful for the trust that they put in me and they, uh, they don't give me deadlines or anything else. Um, it's really such a pleasure working with these lovely ladies so i use as always my angelus acrylic leather paints and there's a lot of questions um regarding my bags paintings so the number one questions is that um if the paints are permanent or not so of course it is permanent it doesn't come off or rub off after so many uh, use because i it was proven from the bags that i am using after i painted the bags i dried it up properly i used my hair blower to dry it uh, completely and then I sealed it with um, matte finisher from Angelus as well so I can say that it's really really nice to put some matte finisher it adapts to the shines effect of the paints and it seals permanently and the number two questions is that what kind of brushes I use in paintings bags? Well, there's a lot of acrylic brushes that we can buy in the store and online store. But I really like the Windsor and Newton Galleria to be specific for my bag paintings because of its synthetic filaments that provide um, responsive and control for the thickness application as well as it maintains its shape regardless of how much water I use and how long I use it. I love the round brushes for delicate details and the short handles have softer head and it's ideal for my glazing. Also, it's very easy to clean up you just clean up with water so that's my specific brand of brushes that i use for painting bags because we have to be treated the bags carefully and we wanted to use some kind of special brushes that is very uh, soft and not really soft because in acrylic in acrylic paintings we really need something like a synthetic kind of brushes so that's all for today and I would like to say thank you again for watching my videos and um, 
if I didn't come back to you right away, um, rest assured that I will be there when the time I sit down on my laptop computer. Um, it's so easy to, uh, to play all the videos on your channel if I sit down on my laptop computer. So um, I will see you then and thank you again. Bye everyone and I hope you enjoy watching my videos on how I painted this beautiful white bag and you can see the you can see the difference from before and after how it looks like um, how it looks so beautiful with my paintings thanks again everyone and have a safe uh, day ahead of us bye